Hello everyone, back tuning into today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for this 10-14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 13th of October and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Excelsior FS ECM Ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 for November at the end of the video and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first. Video sales are 6 UK weather forecast. And also release Jerry Friday as well. Check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all today's videos of content. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We only put on around 35 to 40 subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 20.6k. So it could go sub. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much everyone. It's a completely free way of supporting uh, Gav's weather vids. And of course liking and sharing the videos as well. Thanks so much everyone. Right, well let's start off with Storm Amy. So that's how the radar is currently looking. Lots of heavy rain piling into the, we into the west and the north, damp and drizzly uh, conditions uh, elsewhere. All of this wet weather will be sweeping east or sweep this afternoon and into this evening, eventually clearing. Uh, and that's when the strongest of the winds uh, will be coming in later on in the day. So let's see how the high res arpege is dealing uh, with this first. But also, here's all of the wet weather piling in from the Atlantic through this afternoon and into this evening. The rain gets a bit stuck down in the south and south east is on for much of the night there. Uh, but once that clears through, that's when the strongest of winds are coming into the north. We'll have a look at wind gusts in a moment for the northern and northwestern part of the country. Overnight into tomorrow, things will start to uh, dry up. A blustery day tomorrow. Those winds uh, will be easing. And then, of course, we're going into a quite, quite a conditions after that. So let's have a look at the wind gusts being predicted from Storm Amy by our pair. So that's where we want to go uh, next. So, uh, well, wind's going to be strengthening, or really strengthening, up the Irish Sea and around those Atlantic coasts uh, right now. Light winds blow eastward, but winds really pick up late afternoon into the evening. Widespread gusts again in the north between 70 80 mile an hour. Just to the west of Scotland, we've got gusts reaching 100 mile an hour. And most 100 mile an hour gusts do in fact get to the uh, outer Hebrides there. More generally, uh, wind gusts between around uh, 70 80 miles an hour in the north and down in the south, even there becoming quite windy later with gusts up to 50 60 miles an hour. This is a proper autumn storm that we've got here, of course, remnants of uh, Hurricane Humberto, isn't it? And then tomorrow, well, the strongest of winds transferring southwards through the morning. Again, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts quite widely across England and Wales. 80 mile an hour gusts still going on to the north of Scotland. It takes until into the evening for the wind to really start uh, dying down. And then by the time it through to Sunday, we've got relatively uh, light winds then. Uh, right, so the next model we'll go to is uh, Icon, see how that one is uh, looking. So, uh, again, we'll have a look at precipitation first, then we'll have a look at the wind gusts. So, in comes the wet weather through the course of this afternoon, already into the north and west. Because some really heavy rain, this could well be localised flooding parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Uh, that rain then down the south, not as heavy, but quite persistent down in the south and in the south east. Takes until the end of the night to uh, clear from that south east corner. Lots of heavy showers and long spells of rain following into the north, that pushing southwards through the course of Saturday uh, after, after um, a morning and then breaking up into the uh, afternoon there. And then things quieter by Sunday. What about wind gusts with Icon? All of these ones are high res, by the way. Uh, so, well, uh, today gusts already picking up through the ice around the Atlantic coast. So, by the time we get through to 6 pm this evening, widespread gusts across Scotland, 70 to 80 miles an hour, 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts also for North Wales and much of northern Western England, 100 miles an hour gusts just to the west of Scotland. The strongest of those winds then transferring east was through uh, northern Scotland, 90 mile an hour gusts inland. Across Northern Scotland. The north really bearing the brunt of the winds with this storm. It will be windy down south as well. Gusts around 50 miles an hour in some places. So it really is around those Atlantic Irish Sea coast and for Scotland and Northern Ireland that we've got the worst of winds. Tomorrow, well, windy, blustery day. Uh, again, the worst of winds though, moving away uh, by the time we get through into Sunday. And then the last model we could look at is going to be uh, UKV. 
We'll just have a look at that. Mel details boarding day. So, um, again, all of the wet weather piling into the west this morning. That heavy rain then pushing eastwards into the afternoon. Really wet for Scotland and northern uh, northern England. Some wet weather pushing down from the mid and south east of England. Um, and then we'll go into the evening. That rain gets a bit stuck and probably peps up a bit across parts of southern southeastern England. Bit of a hint of a school line there. I think, along that narrow uh, red line just there. That could well be a school line that's setting up in the southeastern corner um, through uh, through the night, so you could well hear your windows rattling <laughs> as that pushes through. Um, further northwards, well, we've got the hook back of rain around that area of low pressure, so really wet to northern and western Scotland for much of the night, and then that wet weather coming southwards through the course of tomorrow, breaking up the showers as it does so. Finally, we'll just have a look at the uh, wind gusts with UKV. This is how things are looking. So, again, the wind is picking up in the west right now. And the strongest of those winds will be transferring eastwards through this evening. So, widespread wind gusts across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. Between around 16 and 70 miles an hour for Western Scotland. Uh, 18, 90 mile an hour gusts. And just out in the Atlantic to Western Scotland, 100 mile an hour gusts. And uh, those winds could well clip in through the outer Hebrides through this evening. So, really windy Scotland, widespread gusts again, yeah, 80 miles an hour. Elsewhere, not as severe as that, but a windy day, particularly for the north and west. And then tomorrow, the strongest of wind transferring south was 50, uh, 60 mile an hour gusts through England and Wales during the morning. Things gradually then easing down into the afternoon as the strongest of the winter below pressure storm Amy moves away. Saturday night and into Sunday. If you're at all worried about the uh, weather in your area today, then check out the Severe Weather Ones page at, UK, at the UK Met office uh, and you'll find a link to the Met in the description with this video. Take care, everyone. Right, so this is our latest wind blow map from EarthNoSchool.net is looking. Matt uh, low just there to the west of Northern Ireland is, in fact, Storm Amy. So you can see the winds already picking up through uh, both Atlantic and Irish Sea coasts. And Storm Amy containing the remains of Hurricane Humberto will be uh, moving across the country during the course of this afternoon, this evening, and then out of the way tomorrow. Uh, okay, so central England temperature is uh, still sitting at uh, 13.3. That's nearly 3 degrees above 61 tonight on the average, and it's provisional just for the first day of the month. That should update in about an hour or so's time, but I won't be here. I'll be doing my second job by then. <laughs> uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature amplification ensemble. So next couple of weeks, we're going to London today. The red line is the 30 year. Upper air temperature out of London. Dying off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment, but they are going to be falling as we go through this weekend and start of next week. A storm aim clears away. Then lifting back up again for the early part of next week and then hovering close to the long term 30 year average. Here's all the wet wear associated with AB. But after that, looking relatively dry, really, that towards the middle part of October. Perhaps a bit wet into the second half of the month, but of course, that's a long way off. Extent range and is therefore unreliable. Temperature normally is for the next uh, five days to the 8th of October. A um, little bit above average, not a big deviation. 6 to 10 day, again, slightly above average. 10 to 14 day, slightly above average. Not much um, exciting going on with temperatures there. Precipitation and normally takes seven days to the 10th of October. Wet and average in all, driving average down in the south. The 8 to 14 day, driving average in all areas. Areas. Right, let's start again. The chart data then. So, the latest UK met Euro run is looking for big diet on Monday. High pressure started to build up from the south, and that high pressure then takes over into the middle part of next week for the south, but north will still a bit more changeable. By the end of uh, next week, high pressure still in control, but possibly some cooler air starting to drift down from the north. Icon again, high pressure south, low pressure to the north through much of next week. And then the trend later next week is high pressure increasingly take over from the west we've got the kma looking like this so again rather westerly for the early part of next week and then later next week high pressure builds in strongly bring a lot of dry weather uh with it that gets us to the 15th of october high pressure 
in control. GFS Midnight Run, all much of a match. This should be only part next week and then later next week, high pressure building strongly before it starts pull out to the west next weekend. So this is Sunday, 12th of October, with winds beginning to swing around to more of a northerly direction. And uh, check it out, that's the 13th of October, day 10. Winds in from the north, then becoming cooler or colder. Minus 5 cells, ice firm drifting down uh, from the north into the northern half of the country there. Only a brief cold snap, winds back into the west again by the middle part of uh, October. I mean, later in the month, turning really unsettled, actually. Low pressure properly taking over into the middle of the second half of the month, becoming cool and wet then for the third week of the month. That's a long way off, though, of course. I remember GFS 6 there by comparison. Again, high pressure builds strongly through the second half of next week. Then pulls out to the west next weekend. Day 10, swinging the wind into a northerly. So our first sort of northerly cold snap on the cards there around a day 10 could deliver some overnight frost and maybe some winchy showers in the far door and then the northern is renewed as high pressure really starts pushing up towards greenland into second half of the bum so greenland blocking this is something showing up with jeremy friday as well by the way i haven't seen jeremy friday i don't know because if you don't watch jeremy friday just watch 10 to 14 days but jeremy friday really interesting uh today with uh, northern blocking hints in the second half of the Bump. So, um, check that out. The GFS is seen that, you know, uh, uh, ridge going up to Greenland. That's a proper Greenland block. Bring the wind into the north or a northeasterly as well. We get a trough setting up underneath it. So, turning cold, cool, and wet there again with GFS 6 uh, for the third week of October. It's a long way off, but both the GFS operation runs today going uh, with uh, retrogression, retrograde of high pressure to Greenland um, around and just after day 10. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know everything about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys on this. Get to subscribe to about 35 subscribers gets us to 20.6k cookers. So that'd be awesome. Don't forget, we've got the Gals on this calendar on sale now. So if you'd like to snap up one of our calendars, all you need to do is send £13132 to our PayPal account. Um, or, uh, just to go to our PayPal account, sign in uh, to your PayPal and then send £13 to us. We will get the calendar out to you. That's £10 calendar, £3 postage and packaging. I think that's a pretty fair price. And thank you so much for doing that. It's a double revenue stream. And it's a fantastic product uh, as well. So thank you, thank you so much to all of you have purchased calendars. There's still plenty, uh, you know, to get your teeth into if you'd like to buy one. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM, again, building up that high pressure from the south, from the southwest through uh, the early part of next week. I mean, the high pressure builds strongly. The end next week, into next weekend, properly high and dry there at 1,030 millibars. Uh, we get through to day 10, and high pressure, doing control, and in the ascendancy. And then the ECM rounds it all off. Again, high pressure dominating the weather, particularly through the second half of next week, into uh, next weekend as well. Uh, and beyond that, day 10, high pressure in control. Is it starting to try and inch its way to Greenland vote, retrograde? Um, well, it doesn't make it on this ECM run, um, but uh, we eventually start going into more unsettled pattern into the second half of October. And there's a bit of a hint of heights rising. Uh, around Greenland then as well. This is a precipitation forecast based on it. You shall run from the of God. Lots of winter red calls over the next 24 hours. Then things will be coming down early next week. We get through to uh, around day 10. And then the emphasis is on mostly dry weather. These are the yachts on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to 13th of October. 17 members of the ECM on ensembles with high pressure right over top of the country. 15 high pressure dominating the weather. 8 high pressure above average heights in control. 6 high pressure in control, a bit more of an easterly with that one maybe, and five a ridge to the west and also to the east and north. These all options seem to involve high pressure there at day 10. And then in two weeks time, these are the options that we've got and it will be getting us to the 18th of October. 19 miles of East Shell and Men with a mid-Atlantic ridge going to Greenland at a trough stepping southwards to our east and that brings the wind into a cooler or a colder north north easterly. Hmm. 17 with high pressure out to the west and to the northwest, bit of an easterly 
up with that. And then we've got 15 clinical control in operation run, keep out high pressure, more or less, uh, across the country there. So a range of options, but the majority option is actually with 19, take the high pressure into retrograde. Could we bring down an overly? Have a cold snap in the uh, second half of the lump. CFS finally for November, 700 millibar height to normally of high pressure, just to the south, west up, bring in uh, a westerly flow. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be above average during November. And precipitation anomalies are showing no particular, oops, no particular signal. We'll see. We've got enough to concern ourselves with, I think, over the next uh, week to 10 days or 10 to 14 days. Never mind about November. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for dear Matt. Drop a comment. Let's know if you like this and all our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz. What's going on my shirt all the while? This shirt. I don't know. There we go, that looks a bit better. I also look like I'd be dragged from a hedge backwards, don't I? <laughs> anyway, uh, don't get to tell friends about gas, we get subscribed to. So, so for, for doing uh, that. So, tomorrow we're going to have a 6 10 UK weather forecast, a bit 10 to 14 day. Uh, oh, and uh, channel members, you've got your ECM and WF exclusive 42 day coming up as well. So, ch keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. Make sure you're watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.